potato rosti. It's like one of those dream potato recipes. Very few ingredients, but with maximum flavour. Essentially, it's grated potatoes that have been shallow fried. So, first of all, I've grated my potatoes. Now, I'm using Sebago potatoes. At your local supermarket, you would see them. They're like those big brush potatoes. They work a treat for this style of recipe. So, after you've box grated them, or you could use a food processor to julienne them, we want to take as much of that starchy liquid out of the potatoes as possible. So, I'm using some muslin cloth here, but you could also use um, a just a clean tea towel. So we'll add some of our potato to our muslin cloth. And after you've grated your potatoes, you want to work fast because you don't want them to oxidise, meaning you don't want them to go brown. And I like to do this in small batches. You can just do this with your hands, but I find because I've got better grip with the muslin cloth, I extract much, much more liquid. So you're going to use a little bit of elbow grease here and squeeze out the liquid. So you can see it's starting now. You want to press that together just like that. The more you get out, the crispier this delicious potato rosti is going to be. Okay, that's good. Then we'll grab another bowl and we'll pop that in there. You can see how dry that's become. Into this, I'm going to add some salt. So a good pinch of salt. We really want to season the potatoes and a small splash of extra virgin olive oil. Not too much, because we're just about to fry in some. We just want that just to help everything bind together. So using a spoon, give that a mix. And that is looking good. Now, there's this misconception that you can't deep fry or shallow fry with extra virgin olive oil. In fact, it's not true at all. I love to deep fry or shallow fry in extra virgin olive oil because we get that beautiful, crispy outside layer and the heat does go high enough to really cook all of that potato. So, shallow fry, we want to cover the base of our pan with that extra virgin olive oil. Now for our potatoes. So we're just going to, again, get handfuls of the potato, squish it together, and then we'll pop it into the pan. Spread it out so it's quite even. And because of the natural starchiness of the potato, it's almost going to act like a glue for this and let it stick together. So just spread it out and then just use an egg flip just to bring it together so you've got that perfect shape, that round shape. And now press it down again so it sticks together. And the aim here is to be able to turn this without it breaking. So you do want to cook it enough. So make sure your heat's not too high and not too low. You want it to be medium so it has time to not only go golden but cook the potato from the bottom up. All right, this is looking good. I've just checked it and it's caramelised on the base. So now the moment of truth, flipping it. So use quite a wide egg flip and get underneath it. One, two, three, flip it. Ah, it worked. Look at that. Perfectly crispy and golden brown. That's what we're after. So that just needs a few more minutes on that side and then we're almost ready to plate up. The rusty is ready to come out of the pan. I just like to drain it on some paper towel, just momentarily. And we'll pick that up again. We've got this far, so carefully move it onto our serving plate. So I have a combination of smoked salmon, chives and creme fraiche. Very classic flavours, but they work. So I love to use them over and over again. So beautiful slices of our smoked salmon. And we're just going to drape that on top of our rosti. Just three or four slices. It's beautiful. And I love the tartness of the creme fraiche. So we'll just grab a spoon and we'll just add a dollop to the center. If you like, you could spread a thin layer of the creme fraiche on the bottom. However, I do like optimum crunch with my rusty, so I do like to leave those sides quite bare. Okay, some of our chives. We'll just finely slice them. And 
and we'll just sprinkle that over the top of our rosti. One last thing is some extra salt. Now, we did season the potatoes, but I just like a little extra over the top. Just think about making chips at home. You always finish off with seasoning it with some extra salt, so over the top. And the last little touch, not essential, but I had this in my fridge and I thought I'd show off a little. Just some salmon roe, that pop of saltiness. So good, and look at the colour contrast. That is a glorious dish. Whether you present it like this or have the rosti with a side of roast beef, it's absolutely delicious. Nothing beats potatoes fried in really good extra virgin olive oil.